Have you ever wondered how Jay-Z's net worth is $1 billion? Although many of us are familiar with Jay-Z's music career, it is not the source of the majority of his wealth. Jay-Z has made the majority of his fortune through investing in or founding his own companies. Let's check it out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover how Jay-Z created his $1 billion fortune. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Jay-Z was born on December 4th, 1969 in Brooklyn, New York. He was the fourth of four children raised by a single mother. He grew up in Marcy Houses, a notoriously rough housing complex in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. He went to Trenton Central High School in Trenton, New Jersey. After bouncing around from high school to high school, he never completed high school and, like many others in his community, he began distributing drugs and engaging in illicit activities. Music was the one outlet that he always returned to throughout his life. Jay-Z used to wake up his family at night by playing drums on the kitchen table, according to his mother. His mother eventually gave him a boombox for his birthday, and despite the fact that it drove his siblings insane, it was an attempt by her to keep him off the streets and out of trouble. Jay-Z knew it was time to do something different after many near-death experiences and close calls with the law. He began his rap career after deciding to focus on his natural skill for rhyming and wordplay and learning the game from his mentor, Jazz-O. Jay-Z released his first single, In My Lifetime, in 1995 after earning a reputation as a brilliant freestyler and battle rapper in New York City. Because no major record labels were interested in Jay-Z, he formed Rockefeller Records with Damon Dash and Kareem Biggs Burke and began releasing music independently. Jay-Z would go on to become one of the most successful musicians in the world, selling more than 50 million albums and 75 million singles worldwide over the next 25 years. According to MTV, Rockefeller split up in 2004, with the three selling their stake in the firm for $10 million. Jay-Z began diversifying his investment portfolio after selling his Rockaware clothing firm for $204 million in 2007. Since then, he has concentrated his efforts on investing in cutting-edge technology companies such as Uber, JetSmarter, Julep, and Away. When Uber was valued at $300 million in 2013, Jay-Z invested $2 million in the company. According to Biz Journals, Uber is currently valued at more than $66 billion, with Jay-Z's stake valued at more than $70 million. Jay-Z's entertainment company, Rock Nation, has developed a platform called Arrive that gives businesses with brand services, business development, consultancy, and finance to help them expand. In exchange, he'll most likely get a cut of the startup's future earnings as well as a stake in them. Jay-Z's investment portfolio is worth over $200 million. Jay-Z is a born entrepreneur who has dabbled in a variety of fields and founded his own companies. Jay-Z formed Rock Nation, a joint venture with entertainment business Live Nation. More than 10 years ago, Rock Nation is a record label, artist management firm, and sports agency that provides a variety of services in the entertainment industry. Jay-Z also made a name for himself in the alcohol market, where he currently owns two businesses. Since 2014, he has controlled Armand de Brignac, a high-end champagne brand, and has a stake in Deuce, a top-shelf cognac company. The entertainment mogul also has his own streaming platform, Tidal. Tidal is one of Jay-Z's most recognized business ventures. It was launched to compete directly with Spotify in what was then an open market. Jay-Z made a $56 million investment in this streaming business in 2015. The company is worth more than $600 million at the moment. Jay-Z sold a majority stake in Tidal to Jack Dorsey, who represents the Square Mobile payment firm, in a clever financial maneuver. Even after selling the majority of Tidal to Dorsey for $297 million, Jay-Z managed to keep shares in the company in a big agreement. He also started a name for himself in the alcohol industry. Jay-Z's personal luxury champagne is Armand de Brignac. In addition, he owns a stake in Deuce, a high-end cognac. Armand de Brignac's champagne, which has become known as the champagne of the rich and famous, has brought him a record $310 million in sales. Deuce, which has a similar client of high net worth individuals and celebrities, has made him well over $100 million since then. Jay-Z sold half of his Armand de Brignac champagne to the luxury liquor company for $640 million in March 2021. According to Forbes, these companies have valued a total of $585 million. While Jay-Z has made a lot of money from his commercial operations and investments, he also has assets including real estate, a large art collection, and many nightclubs to add to his net worth. His overall net worth is estimated to be more than a billion dollars. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. 
we're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.